Hi, everybody. Um, well, since I don't know how I'm ever going to get through all the videos trying to do it the way I was thinking I was going to by just doing two, you know, maybe three puppies at a time. And I know everybody is anxious to get to puppy picks. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and feed them lunch. Um, and it's usually a good time to catch them playing after. Um, that's when we add different contraptions in their outdoor puppy pen is what you're looking at right now. So, um, I just thought, you know, it'd be a good way to kind of see them and see all their little personalities, even though they're all playing right now, except for one little girl right here who is trying to get my attention. Huh? What you doing, Pinky? Huh? Oh, hello. Hello. That's our blue eyed baby. Yes. Oh, and here comes Tuxie to say hi. Ironically enough, the ones that are coming up like this are usually your ones that are a little more laid back um, compared to the ones that remain playing. It's funny how each puppy has somewhat of a different personality. Obviously, doodles in general are very laid back, um, willing to please, comical, funny. Um, you know, the whole nine, but of course they all, you know, also have their individual personalities and some are just a little more outgoing. Others are just a little more laid back. Obviously none of these guys have a, um, vicious bone in their body. That's just not a doodle's nature. So that's never a concern, but there are certain pups that are better for families of younger children when I say, or, you know, children that may not have been around puppies a whole lot. Um, so if for some reason that, you know, that's your family, let me know and I can help you, you know, pick or decide on certain puppies that might be better for your family versus others, if that makes sense. So anyhow, this is our puppy pen outside that we, they love coming to on, you know, pretty days. And this is where we try to feed them while we're cleaning indoor puppy pens. It's a constant rotation, okay? Oh. Look at that. See, this is what we mean by potty training. You see how everyone goes to the grass to potty. And I've had the question, several of you have asked, well, can we get this grass and, you know, should we have this when we go home? And my answer to that is no, because we're doing this. We start that at three weeks old. You guys want to, you know, train your puppy to go in your yard outside, obviously. And if you were to get the grass, all that would be doing is prolonging the, um, you know, potty training. Uh, doodles, especially our standards, usually train very fast with potty training. Make sure everyone has a bell, any kind of bell that you can hang from the door that you'll be, you know, using to take them out to potty. Um, you want that before you pick them up, okay? Because from the moment you step foot in your house, their new home, you are setting the tone, so to speak, as to your expectations of them and it's a critical time in a puppy's life between 8 and 12 weeks. That's where all of your habits, both good and bad, are formed. So keep that in the back of your mind. I'll also give you some tips of, on what to do as soon as you get home to help your puppy acclimate. But um, just a few, you know, just some words to think about. So look. I love when they all get in this little house, okay? I've had sometimes a whole crew in there piled up, sleeping or playing. Um, and these are just little, you know, every day we rotate toys, okay? And that helps them to just, you know, be exposed to different textures, different, all different things. Oh, look at someone climbing the slide. They love, everyone can I get over the slide. And the key to that, you know, you got guys, you can find these all the time, like in the trash and stuff is one that has like short steps and they absolutely love playing on them. They absolutely love it. And then on this little square you see here, we rotate toys on and off and put new ones. So you're just always sparking their interest and that's things you wanna do at home too, guys, is you don't want them to get bored. Um, it's constant enrichment and, you know, stimulating them Training is the best way to exhaust a puppy. Some people think exercise, which is also important, 
but it's actually a combination of exercise and training that wears out a puppy. So something to keep in mind as well. All right, just so everyone knows who's who, in case you don't already. So, and I'll try to do my best to, I think you can see the one there. We have one little party right there, the um, white and tan party. That's black collar, male. I think you see our little tuxedo eating the fish right there. <laughs> That's our green collar male. And let's see. The one that's helping him eat the fish is our red collar male. He is basically just a little apricot abstract. Um, absolutely go gorgeous though. Great structure. He's one of our bigger boys right here. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous coat. That's definitely a double furnished coat. We know that. Um, he's going to be absolutely handsome. As is all of these guys, guys. So it's kind of, you know, I hate to say it sometimes like that. This is right here. We're looking at blue collar. This is the one originally that we called Moose, if you remember. Um, he ended up not being a Moose because he's actually one of the smaller boys, believe it or not now. So definitely not a Moose. And he's really not, does not qualify as a full tuxedo, but he does have strong tuxedo markings. Um, as you can see, he has the white tip tail. He has white, really white tip back paws, a little on the front. He does have white on his chest and his chin, but not really enough to, you know, really classify him as a tuxedo. Um, so, you know, just, you know, heads up on that. And that's our little Merle. Earl. We named him Earl the Merle. Yes, we did. <laughs> Earl. Earl, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? Hello. Oh, uh oh, mistake. I don't know if I just made a mistake there by calling them. Say hi. Can you tell hi? Say hi to all your families. Hi. 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 And here is our little. Well, we have met her earlier, but this is our little. Um, she's a little black abstract. That's our little black female. She is a doll and a complete sweetheart. Both of our blacks have curly coats. And something people often don't know about black doodles or any black dog in general that has a longer coat, like a doodle, is that, and that's our little male that's getting ready to go potty. Um, also, one of the bigger boys, guys, the uh, black male. He, um, or a black coat is the easiest to maintain. And the reason for that being, it's something to do with the pigment. Um, regardless whether they're wavy or curly, they tend not to match very often or hardly at all you might get a mat here or there but they're definitely easier maintenance with a black versus any other color um so something we learned along the way as our first doodle as most of you know elvis is black um and he is who started this whole thing believe it or not elvis and our of course elvis and marley marley is our cream mama who both are retired now but that's who started bucktown doodles so, don't eat that. No, 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 no. Oh, and look, we got some people looking at us here. Oh, you waving? You giving me paw? Thank you. Thank you, my love. I don't have my clicker out here, but thank you. And, guys, can't be positive, but can you see these eyes? We think he has blue eyes as well. So, what that tells us is, and now we pretty much are sure that all of these guys are hidden merles huh just like me see i'm a hidden merle huh and you're all wet some of them are wet they love water guys doodles love drinking water and another tip is that once you are home even though i leave a water bowl out right because of course i'm caring for nine puppies good boy um you don't want to leave it out at home okay not until they're older because that's the hardest part of potty training is not the pooping it's the pee pee and by keeping water out of course you will they will have to go even more you know more often and they love drinking water it's a doodle thing um i actually thought something was wrong with elvis when we first brought it home brought him home and i come to realize that no that's not the case they all love water so just another little tip there that is our yellow collar. That is our other little black male. He is very laid back, guys. So um, he would be great for 
families with children or if or if you don't have children he's going to be a quieter type guy and not to say guys there's still you know when we say that there's still puppies so you know you still have the next year <laughs> that you're going to be dealing with a puppy so keep that in mind also something in regards to coats so they will not get their permanent coats until 9 to 12 months. So for those, you know, all that time, you'll be dealing with a puppy coat, which is obviously pretty easy to maintain. You will still need to um, have to go have him groomed, him or her groomed, because for several reasons. Number one, <laughs> at about 12 weeks, they can no longer see. Their hair is like ours. It continues to grow and grow. So you'll need to go get what's called a puppy trim. Some people choose to do it on their own, and, and that's okay. Um... But then, once they're older, okay, uh, I usually suggest, it, it. everyone's different because no one wants to shave that coat down. If you keep up the coat and it doesn't match and you brush it daily once he's a little bit, you know, older, then you can go about six months and have them use what's called a guard to just take down a little bit of the length without having a complete shave down. Um, however, if he, they get matted up, well, then you'll have to do a complete shave down. Now, regardless of how you handle that, by the time they're approaching in a year, if you have not already done so, you're going to have to do their first shave down, okay? It's important because you want to get the remaining puppy coat out, and it just, you know, allows for a fresh, beautiful coat to come in, any dry hair that gets to the top to come out, that sort of thing, and then you're going to want to do it every so often thereafter. Um... It's shocking the first time you shave down your doodle. Always is. Um, no matter how good your groomer is, it's always shocking because you're like, where did my baby go? So much of what you're seeing is a coat. So, but it's important and please, you know, just know it'll always grow back just like ours does. So, anyway, as you can see, some are starting to poop out, but I, this is why I figured it would be a great time to video and I said you know what this is the way to do it to get everyone that way we can get our puppy pics you know underway and everyone can know who will soon be theirs and you can start preparing to bring him or her home I know how excited some of you are really all of you are I know also you know a lot of you have been waiting a very long time for this puppy um so I cannot wait to place him or her into your arms and to finally meet you guys in person this is normally all done in person this is our first time having to do an entire litter of puppy pics this way which is disappointing but unfortunately thanks to COVID, we really don't have a choice um what you're seeing by the way just seeing uh, somebody asked me the other day what is that they're laying on it's actually a heating pad of sorts but it's for like kennels and and things like that we also use these in our whelping beds um, for our newborn litters for the first three weeks because they cannot maintain their body temperature but our older puppies still love it too. All right, guys. So I don't want to make this too long because I know everyone is anxious to get to puppy pics. Um, when I give you, once I reach out to you, um, I think all of you probably have an idea of several pups you have in mind. So that's what I'm going to ask you when I reach out. That way, what I'll do is I'll bring the few that you're considering into our inside pen. That way, we can FaceTime that way or duo whatever, you know, method you prefer, and then um, we'll take it from there. Of course, I'll also let you know which ones have been picked already. That way, you know, we're not looking at ones that are not available, et cetera, et cetera. You probably realize that, unfortunately, our little purple girl is not in here right now. Um, she is essentially on bed rest, which is very difficult because she is obviously a, you know, six and a half week old puppy. And so it's extremely hard. Um, but that's important because we, until we know for sure whether we have a, what he's, you know, worried about is a partially torn ligament. So we will continue to monitor that. But anyway, that's why she's not in here playing, which is heartbreaking, honestly. But, you know, I think she will be okay, but we have a little road ahead of us. And that's, you know, puppies will be puppies. We all know that, but, you know, it's in, no matter how close of an eye you keep on them, <laughs> things happen believe me I'm going to send you home with papers okay and packets of things to you know try to keep your puppy safe and you know once they're older as well things that people don't even think about that are poisonous um and you know we're all so you know we're seeing a new peanut butter for example right now 
um, that is poisonous to puppies and pups and dogs love peanut butter so just you know some food for thought anyhow I will go ahead and sign off that way I can get this uploaded for all of you and we have some that are starting to pass out they'll start dropping like flies just like toddlers do so um, I look forward to chatting with all of you and seeing um, who your eventual babies will be thanks guys bye